Hey learners, welcome back to Exfully, excited for learning. So today, we are going to do the project Balloon Buster 3. This project was asked by many of our viewers, so that's the reason I'm doing this project. Let's get into it. So, yes, this is my project. Okay. And um, the bow is moving according to my mouse. And then, okay. So, and now if I press the space bar, then arrows are getting released. Okay. So, this is my project. So, and these are the specific tasks to complete. So, uh, let's, I will just summarize them and tell you as we are going into the video because it takes time to discuss all the specific tasks. Okay. So, first we have already done this in Balloon Buster 2 bow comma arrow we have created the variables okay then function preload so in function preload we have to preload the images that means load the images in a variable so the animation background 0 dot png that is where um the png of the background so that we have to store it in a variable so that is where we are storing so background image equals to load image so we are storing background 0.png in this variable background image okay next these are same thing uh, like loading is regular for us we already know what loading means right okay function setup create the background create the canvas i'm sorry create the canvas which was already default like whenever you enter the screen this is already there so using this we can create the canvas okay so this is already given so you it's a default one that comes once we click start project so we don't need to discuss anything about this because it's already given now creating background background equals to create sprite 0 comma 0 comma 600 comma 600 now we have we are creating a background so 0 comma 0 that means it starts from the, uh, the left hand side top okay so right here and then it just gets printed like this okay so 600 comma 600 is our canvas so background that means it covers the whole canvas right so that's the reason we are keeping 600 comma 600 okay next background dot add image so we are adding the image because we have stored the image like the we have stored the png right in background image the variable background image so this is where the variable comes into play background dot add image that means we are adding the image okay and what is stored in background image the png for background so that's the reason we are going to do like this okay so the syntax for this is background dot add image ba brackets background image or whichever variable suppose you give a um, background as a variable for that or background img so whatever you have loaded the png in that's it that's what we have to write in this okay now background dot scale that means we are scaling the background okay so scaling means we know to make it the background should cover the whole canvas so that's the reason the scale is one is too small i'll just show you as you can see one is too small and it's not all good it doesn't look good because we are not having any background it's coming repeatedly right so we have to scale it otherwise it's a hectic okay next bow equal to create sprite we have to create this bow sprite and then we have loaded the image bow we have loaded the png as you can see if you click on this button right here then you can see uh, a tab getting open like a ribbon so um, you can see a small box getting like uh, you can see a small box in that you can see all of these so these are the images png for all the variables that we are going to use so blue balloon this is a png so we have to use this one and then paste it we have to paste it then you'll get the image okay bow.scale equals to 1 okay 
Next, background dot velocity x equals to minus 3. So the velocity of the background. As you can see, our background is moving, right? So why is it moving? Because we have kept a velocity to it, okay? And then if background dot x is less than 0, that means if the background gets out of the canvas, then background x equals to background dot width divided by 2. That means that if the background is cross 0, then half of the background should be again joined to it, which like goes repeatedly, which makes it like an infinite scrolling effect. So it seems like it's going and going forever. Okay. So this is the um, code for making random balloons come appear from any position. So I'll discuss this afterwards after discussing the functions for every balloon. Okay. So we have to create a separate function for every um, balloon. So for that, I'll just discuss the functions and then I'll come back again later in this video. Okay. We'll skip it for now. Bow dot y equals to world mouse dot y. That means bow y. Y position means up to down. Okay. X position doesn't matter with this. Okay. So if I'm moving really slightly. So X position. Even if you move like this, it won't happen. It's only following the Y position of the bow. Not the X position. Okay. So if I keep up and down. So see as the bow also comes with me. Okay. If key down space where temp arrow means the temp arrow is a variable equals to create arrow. Temp arrow dot add image. So when the space key is pressed, a sprite should be released. What is this? Temp arrow. Okay. So this is the sprites. Okay. And then temp underscore arrow dot y equals to bow dot y. That means if um, I'm releasing right here, then go. So after. It should be like that, okay, wherever my bow is getting released, so the same place. So, it follows the bow's Y position. It also means that it's following the mouse Y position because bow Y position is following the mouse ones. Okay, and then, yeah, so what is this create arrow? So, this is the function create arrow, okay. So this is the function that I have created, create arrow, arrow equals to create sprite, okay. So this is the arrow, 360, 100, 5, 10, okay. So 360 is the x position. So the x position matters, but not the y position. Because y position is going according to the bow and bow is, according, is going according to the mouse. And mouse, um, we are controlling the mouse. That means we are controlling the arrows also, right? It's all interlinked. But the X position matters. Now, suppose you think that um, X position doesn't matter and just keep random numbers, then let's see what will happen. Okay? So, arrows will be shooting from here, right here, as you can see. And if you decrease it even more, then, then, can see the arrows are directly like getting launched from see you can see it's of no use so the exposition should be near the arrow I mean the bow okay so now as you can see it look it looks like one second I have to 360 is also not enough It looks like the arrow is getting released from the bow like okay so x position matters but the y position doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you keep I mean if you keep 0 it doesn't matter and 5 comma 10 also doesn't matter because we are making an animation for it and we have for changing the animation size we have to scale it okay so this is the function creates and then arrow, we have to give arrow a velocity, right? So that's a velocity minus 6, okay? And arrow dot scale. That means we are scaling the arrow. So we don't need to add temp arrow dot add image over here. Why? Because whenever you press the space key, there's an animation like we cannot see from our eyes. But adding, like it's replacing like 
just in a fraction of second it's replacing with the image okay so you feel that uh, arrow is getting released okay so when you press the space key the create sprite the sprite is getting changed into a animation or the png okay so return arrow that means we have to constantly it keeps going like that okay so it's just like a circle okay function red balloon so this is the function red balloon and um now if once you do this it's the same thing for all the balloons so what i just did is that i copied the whole function and then pasted it next and then replace this red by green everywhere wherever the red is there i replace it by green that's it see you have to replace this red balloon image if you keep the same variable okay so it's the same thing red underscore balloon image green underscore balloon image so it's just as easy if you just replace the red with green it's simple for green so that's how i did okay so where red equals to create sprite so a variable red is being created equal to create sprite zero zero is the x position that means zero is like left totally to the left so balloon should be coming to the right right so that's the reason i have kept zero okay and mat dot round random zero comma six hundred so this is the function for making random y position of the balloons only y position of the balloons okay not the random colors random y position so what is the syntax let's just read it mat dot round random 0 comma 600 i mean yeah mat dot round in brackets random and then one more bracket inside 0 comma 600 so why put uh, so if you keep this in the x position so the second com uh, second place means the y position right so it automatically understands that we have to get a random y position so mat dot round random from 0 to 600 so we want balloons to come any from from here to here so we want balloons to come from any random place right see our okay, balloon just came from here and see this balloon so it's coming from any place of y position any so what is the 0 comma 600 so if you want the place suppose 200 comma 300 so let's see mm, okay 200 comma okay red balloon only comes from there one second we are waiting for the red balloons Okay, so I'll just copy it, control C, and paste it. I'll just show you what is, what am I doing? Control V, control V. So as now you'll see, see there's a balloon coming. See as you can see, constantly there are balloons coming in a. It, you will not see any balloons coming from the top or from the bottom. It's just like it's going in a line. See, there are no balloons coming in the bottom or the top. So what did I do? Okay. So what I did is that I make the range different. Okay. Now I made it 0, 600 for all the balloons. Okay. Now you can see that balloons will be coming from anywhere. See? balloon came from down and it will come from up soon okay so we cannot control from which y position the balloon can come okay so mat dot round random this is the range from where it can come okay from 0 to 600 0 comma 600 means the range okay the range of the balloons it can come from top or uh, it should come from the bottom or in the middle anywhere okay it's the range okay it's a y position it can come from anywhere okay and comma 10 comma 10 so that's the shape of like width and height okay next red dot add image we have to add the image so i i'm telling this again and again 
red underscore balloon image is the place where we store the PNG of red balloon. Okay, so red balloon red dot add image red dot velocity x. So the velocity of the red bal uh, red balloons is three. So I decided to keep it three. It's your wish. And scale zero point one. So these balloons are gigantic in real. If you don't scale it, it's so big. So it's not that scale. Sorry, it's not that scaling should be only in positive numbers. It could be in decimals also. Okay. And the pink balloon was really small, so I had to increase a bit. Okay. So just according to your wish, you can make the balloon set a big, little, small. It's up to you. Okay. Now we we understood the functions for every balloon. Now let's get into the random balloon coming. So now we have kept the core for. So it's the same for everything. I'm just saying it again and again. Just copy it and paste it. That's it. Okay, it's the same. Just replace the names. It's exactly the same. So you don't need to do anything. Okay. Just copy it and paste it. If you feel comfortable to type again, you can always do that. Okay. So. Um, just look at it. So it's the same thing. So I'm not. I'm not going through everything. It takes a lot of time. Okay. If so, it starts from here. Where select balloon equals to mat round random one comma four. So what is this? This is we are creating a variable select balloon equals to mat round. So select balloon that means. Select balloon create uh, gets random numbers like now this is the range of random numbers one to four. Okay, so one to four one comma four means any random number can come one or two or three or four. Okay, if you keep one comma four that means any random number can come. Okay, any random number from one to four. And the range is up to you if you want one comma twenty, but it's not needed in this project, so we don't need so many. There are just four types of balloon: red, green, blue, and pink. So we don't need many. Okay. So using this, we are creating random numbers, just random numbers. But if we do this, so this is the function for making random balloons come. Frame count percentage sign. Eighty equals to equals to equals to three equals to so. Okay, so frame count then um modulus is called eighty triple equals to zero. That means so um our canvas is divided into frame counts. Okay, one frame, two frame, three frame, which we cannot see. So I just first uh show you a demo. Of what will happen if you decrease the frame count? See, balloons are popping up so fast. So we don't have any time to shoot all of these, right? It's so hard to shoot. Now, if you increase the frame count, oh my God, we have to wait a lot of time. So now one balloon will come, and after a lot of time, one more balloon will come. See, now if you keep it eighty, now let's see. One balloon, second balloon. So it's coming a little more frequently. So what does this mean? Is that every eighty frames, then a balloon will be popping up. Okay, so every eighty frames, a balloon will be popping. So how does this math actually happen? So suppose if the frame count is at this point of time, it's just example. If it, the frame count at this point of time is suppose seventy eight, okay. So does seventy or let's say ninety eight, okay? Ninety eight is ninety eight divided by eighty zero. No, it's not. So eighty divided by eighty? Yes, it is zero. Okay. 
so this is that every frame count every like the frame count divided by 80 should be zero so every 80 frames it counts okay so understood every 80 frames a balloon gets popped up and now as you increase the frame count like less frequent it becomes then there will be less balloons coming every every time so you'll find less balloons coming okay so that is the meaning of this frame count and then this if condition i'm saying it's a if condition and then the if condition ends over here and then in between i've written these quotes if if brackets select balloon select underscore balloon so this is the variable that i've used select underscore balloon so the same variable should be there same to same equals to equals to equals to one so that means if the random number select balloon is a is a code where random numbers will be generated right so now we are saying that if select balloon triple one i mean triple equals to one that means that if select balloon one so if the random number is one then release the red balloon or apply the red balloon function and if you apply it we know that red balloon will be shooted out okay so the red balloon will be implemented and red balloon implementing means a balloon will come with a velocity that will be moving okay else if so if not red if not one random number then second else if you should not say if else if select balloon triple equals to two then if the random number is two then green balloon so the green balloon image will be set and there's a velocity that will make it look like it's shooting out okay so else if select balloon three blue balloon so it's the same thing else if select balloon four okay yeah so if you it uh, if you write else also no yeah else select else if select balloon triple equals to four then pink balloon okay so then pink balloon will be shooted out okay so the main thing that we had to do in this project was create the make the random balloons get shoot out and we had to create different functions for every balloon okay so this was the project that we had to do and um if you like this video please like share and subscribe don't uh don't forget to share this video so you are get you're getting a lot of help right so it will help other people to get help by our videos okay so if you have any doubts questions or suggestions then you can always comment them in the comments okay thank you